Hello all and welcome back to my reaction to Ruby, Volume 6, Episode 6, Alone in the Woods. With a thumbnail, 20 minutes long, with a thumbnail of Maria reading that book she found. Possible lore, possible... Oh, I don't know, but I'm down with a lot. Oh, like someone pointed out, and I, I, I'm really amused, that, uh, Weiss seems to agree with Ruby about withholding, uh, information about that liquor store from Crow, because, you know, it'd be better for everyone, including Crow, if he didn't drink, I mean, especially Crow, if he didn't know it was there with him in that state of mind. And how that ironically echoes with her getting annoyed at other people deciding what, uh, is best for her not to know. Also the fact that almost certainly he will find out, which leads to him getting pissed and accusing them of being just like Ozpin, and that's definitely going to cause some problems. Also, apparently Miles is very, very excited... Either Miles or Carrie, actually, I can't remember which, is very, very excited for the next couple episodes, so, uh. Uh, yeah, let's just. let's just get to this. Okay, weird Genlock Flash. Sorry, guitar riff. That guitar riff made me feel like they're air guitaring for a little bit. <laughs> Not the best guitar riff out there I've heard, honestly, but... They managed to, uh, finally inspire me to start air guitaring, which a good guitar riff should always make you want to do. Yeah, Crow's definitely gonna find that alcohol and get completely smashed. Oh, so good. I, I've tried this more, but it's so good to have this show back. <laughs> oh, I love watching this. It's one of the few series I actively look forward to watching nowadays. Everything else is, eh, I'll get to around to it eventually. Next Hell is obviously the other one. Everyone's chilling off by the fire, but Ruby's on her own? Yeah, okay, Ruby? Storm's cleared up for now. We should be able to leave by morning. That's good. No. I don't have a good feeling about this place. Especially with me around. Are you... okay? <laughs> sure. Tell everyone to get some sleep. I'll wake you guys up just before sunrise. Crow's not okay. Not even... Not even within a thousand miles of okay. And it seems he found the alcohol, so I guess that wasn't gonna happen. The head of or at least he found some. Bartleby. Apparently, he and several other families founded this little settlement to try and live on their own. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting horror movie vibes from this place. For a spell. I'm not sure if it's grim like everyone's Just suggesting, but something's up with this place. Slowed down their farming, made everything harder. It's a shame, really. He seemed like quite the ambitious fellow. Always thinking of new schemes to overcome the odds. Hey guys. Crow said we should get some sleep. 
We're gonna head out early tomorrow. Thank goodness. The last thing you'll catch me doing is letting some kid tell me what to do. Get in bed. <laughs> Ruby likes Maria too. <laughs> She's the only one here besides Osman who could refer to Crow as a kid. <laughs> not doing okay if she freaked out that much when she woke up. Dear God, every shot of this episode was Ruby and it makes me want to reach out and give the girl a hug. And Crow. But, oh man, she does not look like she's doing all right herself. Come on, get up. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, we overslept. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, I thought she was looking kind of starting to look pissed there. Oh, right. Sunrise. You know, you can talk to me about stuff. I'm happy someone gave Crow a hug. Ruby? Ruby, this is why you're the be the best at, at member of that group at the moment. I do. There. Can we just go back to bed? If we're all so tired, maybe we should make breakfast. You want to make it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Which person's hungover? Hey, hmm. Well, it's done now. So let's hook this thing up and. Tensions are running high, people are all... People are just beacons for bad luck, aren't you? <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed at that, but I did. I'm starting to think the universe just doesn't want us getting to Atlas. It's just a flat tire. I'm sure there's a spare. It's not just that. It's everything. Storms, crashes, monsters. I'm so tired. Me too. It feels like we're always having to fight to get by. Yeah. But that's what we signed up for. We signed up to try and save the world. Not just... delay the inevitable. Last night, I... She signed up to try to do it, make things better. Why are we even going to Atlas? Well, at the moment, it's because, you know... The relic that could get people killed anywhere else. Weiss, we have to. Why? Yep. Osmond hid the relic. This is why Osmond's right. Under enormous schools, but how long would it take Salem to find a lamp in the middle of nowhere? But the Grim are drawn to it. They'd find it eventually, sure. But bury it or just throw it down the well? It would take years. It might not even happen in our lifetime. Yep. But we could be done with it now. I had suspected Root having to deal with basically her entire team turning into this. I am really tired. Oh god. Oh god! It's the- it's whoever's killed these people! Ruby! Keep together! Yes! No, 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 I didn't mean to! Ruby, it's okay. Hey, 
Hey, it's okay. You just said you're tired. It's probably nothing. Now let's go. What's wrong with you? We can't just leave. Woo! Let's go down there. We have to get the land back. People want character all over me, but uh, getting fed up with everybody else's bullshit. Check the shed for a spare. I'm not leaving without the lamp. <sighs> I'll go down with you. We'll go down together. Fine. Get the stupid lamp. Oscar, fix a stupid tire. Where are you going? Where do you think? Stupid. Ah, uh, Ruby. I. Ruby is and will always be the best suited for this shit. Maybe the current carried it away. Current. Hmm. Do you see a current? I see boot deep water. I don't see a current. I don't care how small that thing was when it fell in there. And Maria's gonna figure figure shit out herself, eh? Huh? Oh come on, where is it? Turn off your lights and just look for the glow. Okay. Oh, it glows. There. The only one with any actual energy in life. I'm saying after Grim, the apathy. That explains everything. Oh my god, it reminds me of a sloth demon. Woo! Oh my god! Grim demons! Oh, not Grim demons. Grim zombies! These are the hand things from the opening. They're zombies! Or, or are these imps? The other half of the knuckle of me. What is this? My weapon feels heavy. Run! Now! Maria, to the rescue! Go, go! Huh. I I'm just really happy about my continual faith in Ruby's ability to withstand this bullshit. Maria's gonna reveal her own silver eye power now. Come on. But that's actually cool. A grim zombie with zombie horde of grim zombies that make you apathetic and weak and tired. But yeah, no, Ruby is just continually reaching the end of being fed up with this bullshit. We are hitting the point where we, where she's going to snap and just going to start yelling at people a lot. Come on, Maria! Silver eyes! Silver eyes! Silver eyes! Silver eyes! Silver eyes! Someone silver eyes! The Grim are not a threat! But of course, if they survive this in any way, they'll say that, nah, these things were never a threat in any way, shape, or form. There we go! Someone's over eyes activated. Oh, hey! A first effect! And it didn't change the drainer too much.
So, if it's not Maria... Maybe Maria... Okay, yeah, Maria... I'm starting to think Maria probably has the rise. She didn't get a little look at what happened. So... Ruby. What color are your eyes? Not! She's silver! silver. <gasps> you have a family? Friends? What? Don't think about them. Think about the people who love you. Focus on the thought of them. Oh my god. Power The silver eyes are powered by the power of love. Life is beautiful. It is precious. And it must be protected. Whoa! Really finally can- Oh my god, I love that little moment where the- Where they just flashed silver. And then she coached her on how to use the power with some level of control. Well! Yay! We're finally getting the answer to Silver Eyes! We're back in the house? Get off me. What are you doing here? We're leaving, you idiots. Come on. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet? What you doing? Now, what do you think? Oh, I thought you would freeze them, but setting on fire? Yeah! Even if they make you apathetic, the fire will keep them away! What's wrong with them? Hmm! That snap should sna that that snapped him out of it. And hey, look! We left the fucking farm! Now you can stop complaining about it. About it. Oh boy, this episode! So, to top it off, we got a very well done horror moment. They're not strong, or... Another moment where it shows... A grim as a... Tr they drain your will. An extremely, extremely horrible fright of the Grim. Learn more about the Silver Eyes. Money towards the end. Some great character moments with everybody. Protection. But in order to do that, he needed everyone calm. Always. As so, get two away from their pack. Hike back was miserable, but got the bastards in the cellar. Wife thinks I was out sealing the waterway entrance. I'll do it tomorrow and tell her the truth once these things take the edge off of everyone. And they tired. They kill everyone because the that page proves that he did, but not before the rest of the pack followed their missing pair all the way home. My guess is they made their way beneath the estate through the water tunnels. That Bartleby sealed up the next morning. Bartleby's plan worked. No one was angry or sad or scared. No one was anything. And then, no one was left. Leaving it to be forgotten. I'm sorry for what I said. Yay! About getting up. Everyone's having an apology moment because, like, quit until the lamp is safe. It's not your fault. It was those things. 
I should have known. The signs were all there, but I'd never seen an entire settlement withered away like that. So she's I encountered them before. I suppose my mind just isn't what it used to be. Miss Calavera? Yes, finally ask. How do you know so much about the Grim? And in the tunnels, you knew exactly what to say to make me... To make my eyes do that. How? Well, isn't it obvious, girl? Stop! I had silver eyes. Finally! That's right, everyone, we're finally getting answers. Can all shut up about it now. Oh my god, I love this episode. This was great. I think my favorite moments are just the moments when Ruby just bubbles up and gets pissed. You don't you don't see Ruby react like that often. She's not an angry person. But she can only shut in and bottle up the frustration for so long before it bubbles up. And we are hitting, we've hit that point. Even with the grim affecting her, she was still there. Compared to everyone else. Not completely, and they're stuff got to her eventually, but if it had been just her, she would have kept been able to keep going. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh Alright. Uh but yeah. Now of course people are gonna claim, oh these Grim were never even a threat to them anyways. Blah 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 Grim aren't a threat. Grim aren't a threat <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm getting increasingly pissed at the sheer dishonesty with people. Look, you don't take them seriously as a threat, but that doesn't mean that they aren't, in fact, a fucking threat. In pretending that they haven't done the shit they've done. Because, I guarantee you, next season, when in an argument about Grim Cops up, they're going to conveniently put brush this aside and say that, oh, the Grim aren't a threat. Well, the time they were both seven. Oh, uh, those were all ba because of ba bandits. Yes, yeah, someone actually tried claiming that. It, it, it's, a, it's a deep frustration with serious, but oh my god, yes, this was a great episode. Like, Seeing, uh, Ruby, <laughs> I repeat, seeing Ruby get pissed is just great. Was <laughs> Get pissed enough to do that, even for a moment, was great. I am happy that we didn't get the moment where he compared them to Ozpin it while angrily shagging them, but I suppose that probably would have happened had the apathy not made him just not give a fuck in general. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm still saying it was a excellent comparison someone made. Also, yes, that, but, yeah. I won't be surprised within the next two free episodes we'd actually get to Argus, and then we can begin making our way to Atlas itself. I wonder if Osmond's even going to pop up again by that point. It would be suck, sucky for Oscar if Osmond isn't even there, and for when everyone, when John probably ends up venting his anger at him. I mean, if the opening is in any indication. There's no guarantee that exact scene will happen, but something like it might. Oh, so, Jesus... I'm just, this was a good episode. I really liked it. 
But apparently, according to some people, this is just shitty fan fiction made by RT after uh, Monty Ohm died. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, try, I try not to bitch about people who complain about the show, but Jesus Christ. It boils over and I can't help myself. Anymore can Ruby. Could have helped herself from smashing that that uh, bottle. Uh, ha, ha. It's good to see that this has helped, though, that this has helped everyone reaffirm their resolve. Which could be actually lead to some conflict between Team Ruby and JNPR, because they haven't gone through this shit that would help them actually resolve to do the right thing. Yeah. The giving up. The feeling of just giving up, forced upon them, so that, that you don't really want to feel that again, so you do the exact opposite. But, uh, yeah, no, it was a great episode, I don't really like it. Oh, apparently Barba was building this episode up too. <laughs> but uh yeah. Yeah. Zombie Grim. Jesus Christ. Yep, yeah, yep, see someone else said it too. Lots of people say they agree with me, they're the zombie grim. Though they act like the sloth from... Oh. I should have fixed that earlier. Oh, well. The hell? I'm looking at the TV for the camera and there's this big white spot on it. I'm like... The TV's off. Oh, okay, I got it now. <laughs> Sorry, that uh, that excuse me, but there, that fixes the light being too bit too glaring. <clears throat> it's the camera view. Anyways, yeah, no. Fantastic episode. No, oh, I have no idea what it's going to follow this. Outside of, you know, finally getting some fucking answers about the uh, Silver Eyes. Which, again, Oh, someone knows something I didn't. Calum, uh, Maria, said she had silver eyes, which suddenly makes sense. Those aren't goggles, those are cybernetic eyes. Technoglasses, those are cybernetic eyes. So she had them, but then they were gouged out by something. Wait, hold on. Uh, sorry, I just looked at the merch stuff. I'm going to look at that later because I'm going to have to click on that to see because, uh, what? Uh, right, no, but yeah, this great episode. I uh, can't wait to see whatever the hell comes up with next week. Because, again, fucking love the show so goddamn much. Uh, right, this is Cypress signing out, and I will see you all next time, folks.